I recently came across a phrase when I watched a YouTube video that really intrigued me and it has had a profound effect on me and the way I see things and I want to share that with you today. Hi and welcome to today's video. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya and I'm an aspiring minimalist, always trying to find ways to simplify life in order just to enjoy it more. Routine is the enemy of time. I was watching a video recently. I love watching videos of people who explore the world. And there's a YouTuber, I will put the link below. You have to check him out. His name is Bryn North and his channel is uh, Mr. Bryn North. He makes the most amazing videos about exploring the world. He has amazing footage and he tells stories that are so intriguing. It's amazing. How many times can I say amazing? <laughs> he had a quote and I think it's just something he said. Routine is the enemy of time and that really made me think. So I love routines and there are certain things that we always do that I do every day that repeat. I mean like brushing my teeth and there are certain things in sequence that I do all the time. I mean I eat, I do my workouts. But here's the thing that I really thought about. It's true that human beings need something comfortable, like something that comforts us, the usual, the something reliable, but we also have that innate need of something new, something exciting, something unknown. And I think it's really the balance between the two that gives us the most, that really makes us truly happy. So having some kind of routine is okay. Like if it's just something that is, you know, something that to keep you alive. I mean, like eating has to be a routine and brushing your teeth has to be a routine. Getting dressed and undressed every day has to be a routine. Sleeping has to be a routine. But to get stuck in the same, same, same to where we don't really appreciate the hours and the minutes anymore. To me, that is my pitfall sometimes. I can tell that when I get into the same, 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 it it's just almost like I can't remember a year from now what I did when every day was the same. But when something was different, when I challenged myself or when something happened that was unforeseen, whether it's good or bad, those are the times that I really remember that stick with me. And that's what I think he really means when he says routine is the enemy of time. And I think it's just we live time differently and we we have those memories it's almost like we create more time and it seems like we are here consciously and we're present and we live life versus when you do always the same routine that has nothing new and exciting there is something that is really good about it that we need we need that reliable aspect in our lives but if we have that without the challenge and the new and the, the exciting and maybe sometimes the frustrating or the heartbreaking I just think it's not the same I have a really good friend of mine I went to Antarctica with him we were both hired on a cruise ship and um, I, I'm a performing artist and he's a performing artist he's a pianist I'm a singer and so we did a few cruises together as a team as a duo and I remember him sitting on the Zodiac. Those are those little boats, those little lifeboats that, you know, you go to shore with. Him and I, we sat in that Zodiac between a bunch of icebergs in Antarctica. And he didn't have any gloves on and he sat on his fingers because he was getting so cold and it was windy. And I said, oh my goodness, why don't you have any gloves? Your fingers are already blue because they're so cold. And he said, and he looked at me and said, you know what, Freya? then I know I'm alive. <laughs> and that always stuck with me too, because it's almost like the painful and the unusual is what makes us feel more alive. At least it is that way for me. And I think that's why I'm always on the lookout on the one hand to simplify, to make it easy, to have routines. But on the other hand, I always try to create new challenges for myself. I have three YouTube channels. I do a lot of different things. I have written a book and I really want to write a new book. Corona in a way has been some kind of a challenge, but it has been frustrating because it's something that is so way beyond my control that it has been really hard for me to come to peace with a situation because I'm someone I want to do and I want to go places and I have all these ideas and now I'm someone tells me no you can't do this and you can't do that it's been really hard for me but I just wanted to share those thoughts with you and please check out um, Mr. Bryn North I think it's amazing and to me 
I vow to myself that I will just look for more experiences, not the same old, same old, but more experiences, more of the unusual, taking more risks, not crazy risks, but taking more risks because in the end, all that matters is really like all the memories that we have, those we have when I'm on my deathbed, I will have all those memories. And I don't just want to think back and say, well, wasn't it great to do the same thing every single day? Wasn't it great how comfortable it was every day? I think those moments where it was uncomfortable or unusual, those are going to be the ones that make life more valuable. But I see it that way. I can totally understand if someone else just really needs more comfort zone. But for me, getting out of comfort zone, it just really makes me feel more alive. And I just wanted to share that today. Let me know in the comments. Are you more kind of person who thrives in comfort zone? Or do you feel like you really need to get out of your comfort zone every once in a while in order to feel alive? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, keep it simple and maybe look for some new things to keep it all exciting too.